What's going on guys, welcome back to another supplement review. If you haven't already watched my preface video on this, the link will be down in the description. Recommend you do that. You'll have a better understanding of what I'm trying to do here. Then you can come back and enjoy the video. As always, I do ask you to take a moment, hit the like button for me, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, leave your criticism in the comment section, but also follow me on Twitter. My username is Shutdown Safety. This is Razor 8. It's a relaunched product from All Max Nutrition that's been out for a few years. Essentially, at this point, it's, you know, run-of-the-mill, in my opinion, pre-workout. These all have similar ways of trying to get results, in my opinion. Most of them try to clone the original Jacked formula. That said, you know, most of these companies do try to create a proprietary compound or formula to help sell their product. Razor 8, no exception. Uh, they're using a nitrosigine. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, nor do you, because it's a word basically someone created. Um, but essentially, you've got your normal cast of characters here trying to help dilate your blood vessels, beta alanine, arginine. But some of the things this does a little bit differently, it does use a synthetic caffeine and it also includes creatine. So for those of you who are stacking creatine, you may not like the fact that it includes it in this product. Uh, something else I don't know how I feel about with the synthetic caffeine. Don't know if I appreciate how my body responds to that. Now, I do like that this product is free of dyes and colors. Uh, it also does not contain maltodextrin, which is used in a lot of supplements. With that said, there is a very large silica packet in that container, which I really can't recall any other supplement, including one that size. Um, now, if you've used pre-workouts before, like Jack or like C4, you may know that there's some clumping issues with that, so I'm not sure how that silica packet is going to deal with the moisture absorption, but I do know it is going to impede you shaking the product and getting you know a consistent mix. So as far as using the product, uh, this is the cherry lime flavor. It tastes basically identical to the Aminocore BCAA line that they have. This is the only flavor that carries over between those two lines. Uh, this is also available in a watermelon and an extreme berry. Now you'll notice the scoop there is a little larger than I expected, uh, particularly when we're talking about a product that's claiming to have no fillers. But I did find that it mixed well. The flavor was light, as you would expect with no natural, or excuse me, no artificial flavors, rather. Uh, it did have a slight aftertaste. It wasn't a, a metallic taste or anything along those lines, but it, it was bitter, and it was something that I initially wanted to drink water after having the product to kind of void. Now, with this product, personally, I did not experience the beta tingle, uh, which to me is a good thing. It's not a feeling that I appreciate. Uh, my reps, you know, were fairly similar to what I've seen with competitors' product. I will say that I noticed a lack of focus, which is something a lot of pre-workout supplements try to gear you into that you're, you know, going to have this focus, and that's certainly what they advertise with Razor Aid as well. Don't know how I feel about that uh, not being there, and I think again that may go back to the synthetic caffeine rather than maybe deriving that from a natural source. Now, in terms of the price perspective on this, it is on the lower end. Uh, this is the 30-serving tub. Most of my research, I've seen this at $25 or less. Obviously, its competitors usually come in in the $29, $30 mark. So you may get a little bit better of a value. One thing I do want to stress with pre-workouts, a lot of times people like to use their tolerance for another product to garner how they're going to tolerate this one. Uh, I started with one scoop. I actually went a little bit more than that because I didn't feel that I had gotten enough results from it initially, but something that you certainly don't want to go into and say, okay, well, I used two or three scoops of another product. Let me do that here. So I'd always caution you to do that. Love to know your guys' opinions of this product. Be glad to answer any questions you have and appreciate you taking time to check out this video.